Hello, Stephanie from the Reddick Library. I'm going to show you how to read ebooks and listen to e audiobooks that you've checked out using the free Access 360 app from Baker and Taylor. Now I'm going to show you how to enjoy the book that we just checked out. Let's tap on My Stuff on the toolbar on the bottom. Here I can see all the books that I have checked out. The Midnight Line by Lee Child, it finished downloading and it's ready to read. I also checked out an audiobook so I can show you how the controls for that work. Let's go ahead and tap the Midnight Line. On this page you can see when the loan is due. It's due on May 28th. I can return the book from this page. I can remove it or I can read it now. So let's go ahead and tap Read Now. The book's going to load here in a moment. Okay, and it'll come up with the book cover. As you can see along the top, if I tap on the top right up here, there is a toolbar up here. The arrow will take me back. The menu if I tap on that, it will show me a table of contents where this way I can jump from chapter to chapter. I'm going to go ahead and jump to chapter one so we can take a look at what the text looks like. Again, I'm going to touch at the top to bring my menu up. If I tap on the A's, I have different options for my display. I can change the size of the font. I can change the layout of the page if I want one page to my screen or two. I can also change the uh, theme, which is changing the background color and the font color. So let's go ahead, I'm going to change that. And then you can have a black background with white text. There's a colored one. The default one is the white background with the black text. I'm going to leave it like that. I prefer that. This is about the size that I prefer my, my font. So I'm going to leave that alone too, and I'm going to close this box. The other options up here a little more advanced but you can set you can uh, bookmark pages you can use notes and highlights you can search for things another way you could uh, make the page bigger is if you tap on here and you can pinch and expand with your fingers so there's just some different different um, selections you can make to make it more customized for your your reading habits to move through the pages, you can do a couple of things here. If we tap on the side, you can see that there's an arrow where I can advance my pages. Or I can just swipe from right to left will advance. And then if I go from left to right, I can go back. If I kind of tap on the page here at the bottom, I can see what page I'm on, how many pages are remaining in the chapter, and then again I've got my little arrows to move back and forward throughout the book. So let's go ahead and go back out of this book. So I'm going to tap again on the top and I'm going to hit the little arrow and go back out. And then I'm going to go back out one more time. And let's just take a real quick look at this audiobook. So I've got it downloaded. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Again, you have the same options. It tells you when it's due. It tells you that you can return it. Or you can go ahead and listen to it. So let's go ahead and hit listen now. And it's just going to load right here. The controls on this are pretty much like the controls on a CD player. Or maybe your iPad or your phone. You just can tap the little arrow to play. Tap it off to uh, pause. The volume is down here. Let me just show you that. I can make it louder. I can make it softer. I can fast forward. And I can go backward. So pretty much the controls work just, just about like your other controls would work. There are some other features down here on the bottom. There's a sleep timer. You can make it go faster or slower. And then you can also bookmark and things like that. The controls are pretty basic, pretty easy to use, so that's a great way to listen to an audiobook. I'm going to go ahead and close this audiobook, and I'm going to go back out here. And then I'm just going to go right back to my library so we can be back on the home page. I hope that this tutorial was helpful. If you do have questions, remember you can always tap on More on your toolbar. Tap on Help. And there's uh, some frequently asked questions. You may have a question that comes up in there that you can get answered that way. Thank you for watching our Access 360 video tutorial series. For more information about this app, please visit the library's website. 
If you are having issues and need additional assistance, please email us at booklibrarian at reddicklibrary.org to set up a one-on-one -on -one online appointment with a knowledgeable staff member.